Oh. Hi, everybody. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Trying to get my money things up there. Oh, I might need to talk to you. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Sorry. There we go. Okay. Hi, Mina Marcellus. What is that? <laughs> My last name. I thought it was Mina Says. <clears throat> I'm going to get my name changed to that Mina Says. Yeah. Say a lot of shit. <laughs> How are you doing? Two, oh, yeah, of course there's two people watching, me and you. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, no. There we go. Hey, Amy, how are you? Welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Sarah. I'm good. How are you doing? I think I'm okay. I got a hair on my face or something. <laughs> yeah, Deborah. Hey, Bethany. My girl is watching. What she say? Hi, Mama. Hi. How are you? Everyone. Wait. Hi, everyone. Oceans of love. I was like, everybody's got oceans. What? oceans of love i love that you've been saying that lately i like it <laughs> what's up buddy i'm funny i was scrambling boy i was scrambling but i made it i actually clicked the button at 8 30 exactly <laughs> <clears throat> Exhausted, yeah. Amy's exhausted. So Sarah was asking me when I'm coming to Ohio. If she wants me to come to Ohio. And Amy needs help in Ohio. You're okay? Good. I'm glad you're okay. Oh, I don't need to do that. I don't do this one. Did I do it? Oh, no, I did it. Just a pity party 
It ain't nothing but a pity party. Oh, yeah. A pity party. I'll be there with y'all. I can do that. I got lots of shit to be pitiful about. Yeah, I do. Not really, but I do. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay to do that once in a while. Not everybody is, you know, happy and strong and motivated and blah, blah, blah every day. You should see me. That's why I have seclude. <laughs> the struggle is real. Especially with kids, yeah. I, I really, I really am happy that mine are grown. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I throw the best pity party. See, Sarah's on board. <laughs> hey, Gypsy. Oh, I so a, a couple of people brought me to tears this morning. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Me and Gypsy had a conversation yesterday, and. This morning, was it this morning that I liked that? Or was it yesterday and the day before? I can't remember. But uh, the same conversation was in a video that that she had uh, duetted on TikTok. Hey. It was kind of neat. I liked that. Pulling up a seat. And <laughs> Debbie's pulling up her seat at the pity party. We're having a pity party here tonight. Yep. <laughs> so a crystal broke? No. And I accidentally stepped on a broken beast. Did you cut yourself? It's totally like glass in your foot. Dang. No, no. That is not good. Last night. Okay. Time has no meaning for me, really. Oh, Deborah. That is not good. I was going to say, did it just break in half? Because now you got an extra one to sell. Hey, Thalia, how are you? Welcome, welcome. We're having a pity party here tonight. Yeah. Yes, you cut yourself off. What kind of crystal? <laughs> Amy. <laughs> yep, it was weird how I did the video before you saw it. Yeah, I know it. I was like, what? Wow. Yeah, it fits so perfectly. There was another one I think that brought me to tears, but yeah. I seen I seen and liked a few of your videos. Yeah. They were on my For You page, I think. I forget to go to the ones I'm following. <laughs> I'll just start scrolling. <laughs> Some cute guy followed me today. I was like, hmm, okay. I don't think you're real, but I'll follow you back. I don't care. Hey, wait a minute. Where's my title? There it is. White quartz cluster. The one you sent me a picture of? No way. You'll see it on my page. I'm focused to keep it because, or I'm forced to keep it because I cannot guarantee that it won't break more. Oh, you're not forced. I'll take it. Then I'll have lots of points. <laughs> Let it break. I'll break it apart, actually. <laughs> okay, your, video, your videos usually end up there. That's good. I haven't taken the time, and I haven't figured it out completely either. You need help with. Yep. 
mystical you're you're on the TikTok pity party like uh how to do a duel with one oh you mean a um a duet or is a duel something different hey myrtle how are you You don't see an option? Oh, that's weird. A duet? Okay, I know how to do a duet. When you go to the three buttons, the three little things. Okay, Deborah, thank you. It's a good thing you don't have to walk there. Because you broke, you cut your foot. You didn't break your foot, you cut your foot. Yeah, when you hit the three buttons, or when you hit the send button, the share button, one of those two. And then it will, it's down at the bottom row. Usually. So Deborah's on the board. I need money, guys. I need to pay my bills. If you can help. Please do. Is everybody shared out? Uh, yeah, lots of people shared it out. Okay. Why doesn't it show all the times? Well, I didn't even share out. Maybe, maybe I should try to share out. I forgot about that part. Yep, that's it. And write a post. Share out. Just past your bedtime, Sarah. Okay, Deborah, I got you down. Hey, hey, cuz. Where's that? Hey, cuz. I hope you enjoy her. She is good. Who are you talking to, Sarah? <laughs> Sarah went, oh no, it's past my bedtime. It's past my bedtime too. Since yesterday. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you, Mystical. <laughs> People ask me that all the time. Do you ever sleep? Oh no, no. Sometimes. Your cousin? Right, I, I caught that much, you know, the word cuz kind of hinted. That was kind of my tip off. Who's your cousin? <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> I connected the first two dots. I need help with the second two. <laughs> Oops. Judy. Andrew Conklin. Did I say it right? Welcome, Julie. I don't see her. Do Is she here? Right when the stars align. <laughs> For real.
You believe she is? Okay. Well, welcome, Julie. Because there she was. You believe she was? All right. So I haven't made the video yet, but I wrote up. Um, well, I wrote up a lot of stuff. In the last couple of days, I've done so much, so much stuff. I'm doing the videos now for my course. She's, she's flying like me, in and out, up and down, side to side. Me too. Hi, Patricia. How are you? Hey, Joy. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> so I'm going to be using um, my Moonology cards for the new moon. Thank you, Amy. Right, that's why we vibe so well. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of a lot of stuff done. Yep. Today was a good day. I didn't get as much done as I wanted, um, but I did make a good dent. So, and the day isn't over. You know, bedtime ain't till like four a.m. And that's when I force myself to go to bed because, yeah, otherwise I'd sit here. I'd be like a fucking zombie. <laughs> I just would sit here. <laughs> I swear, I sit down to work and it's like, uh, well, usually I make it here about three, you know. Today I was an hour early. I was pretty proud of myself. Didn't make much of a difference, though. Hey, Stacy, how are you doing? When I look up, then it's like it was almost 7, which I had a meeting at 7. So I was scrambling since 7, or, well, since about 6.30. <laughs> What? What is that? That's a lot of zeros and one one. Bow witch. Rainbow witch. Okay. <laughs> I said bow witch. My mom. Your mom told you? Well, you'll have to fill me in. Yep. You'll have to tell me what I couldn't find out. I'm glad your mom was able to do that. I'm doing okay. Yep, yeah, I'm doing good. Working hard, but getting a lot done. Today I uh, got the pretty little document up of my my morning ritual, my morning meditation, protection, everything that I do each morning. Well, no, everything that I try to do every morning. That's awesome, Joy. I'm so happy to hear that. Civil suit. Yeah, it is close to a criminal complaint as one can get. Okay. I am so relieved. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, there are seven. Wowza. Yeah. I look like I'm younger. 
That's good. I've been, I've been using this new face cream. <laughs> it's right here, actually. I don't even know what it is, but I found it. it. The writing is way too small for me to even even read. So it, I've been doing that and, and this vitamin E stuff. It's called Firm. <laughs> vitamin E and Frulalic, something like that acid. Facial serum. So thank you, though. I'm going to put that one up there. <laughs> hey, hey, monkeys. Also... Bethany helped me buy some new makeup and I'm I'm doing it her way. I'm putting it on the right way, apparently. I'm not allowed to use my hands. I have to use this this little applicator thing. <laughs> but it does work. <laughs> I mean I have to admit she was right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Deborah, Deborah. So, anybody got a topic for me for Wednesday night? Which, which? Oh, Bethany's school cake. And you just sent my box. Shoot. Bethany, your school or your school came. Your, your dragon head came. <laughs> your skull. Dragon skull came. I wish I could talk. Bethany. You do live tutorials? What? Oh, Amy's asking Bethany. <laughs> you know what I found the other day? From like a year ago, I found my makeup tutorial tutorial whatever it's called that i made for for holly and i was i didn't even have a mirror i was just doing it <laughs> it was it's so funny oh my god it's hilarious bethany should man oh she's like one of them professional makeup people what are you thinking about sarah Yeah, I seen that the other day. I was cracking up. I was like, oh, I wonder if Holly even remembers. <laughs> that was like when we first met. <laughs> Bethany, are you still here, Bethany? Oh. Oh, the top. Oh, duh. Too much. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot I asked a question. Oh, there she is. No, I don't, but I guess I could. Yes, you could. <laughs> I'm so funny. Good. I'm still, I'm glad you're still here. Yes. People want you to make a makeup tutorial. Apparently because of my face, I'm a free advertisement for you. <laughs> These make, Groups, makeup groups are out the chain. They are. She could. She can make money doing that too. I need help with opening, opening up your chakras. Okay. I knew what you meant. <laughs> Stacey, or Amy. Opening up your chakras. Okay. You mean like, well, never mind. Never mind. That was a dumbass question. Okay. 
<clears throat> Sometimes I worry about myself standing up for others and ourselves. Standing up for others and ourselves. All in rare. Okay, I got it written down, Patricia. I thought you said pooping, popping out. Justice and judgment, huh? Both in the same... Or just all day long. Mm -hmm. Are we finding it a little hard to think of a topic? It can be hard, can it? What's your favorite? Right, but not everybody does mystical. <laughs> she was giving me a topic for the or for Wednesday. Two days everywhere. Mm, wow. Did I put that up? I'm sorry. So what does that mean, Amy? <laughs> I'm put you on the spot. I'm not going to flip your cards up right away this time. I'm going to let us all be surprised. Oops. These were definitely one. Okay. That's what I said in my prayer. <laughs> I was like, and deities. <laughs> I didn't say the name. I just said deities. <laughs> Maybe hell no. <laughs> Bring it on then. <laughs> oh, hell if I know. I think said hell no for the topic thing. Hell if you know? You shit. I don't believe that. Am I balanced and grounded like I should be? Is that a topic or are you asking me that, Joy? <clears throat> if it's a topic, we should probably say, how do I know if I am balanced and grounded like I should be or like I want to be, maybe? I know I was letting her know how to do it. Oh, Thank you. Sorry, I misunderstood. I think, well, okay, yep. <laughs> I feel stronger since I wish Mm. Then you just answered your own question. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. If you feel it, it's your truth. You know what I mean? Sneaker. 
How about energetic magic starting at the root? Nice. Yeah. I'm live. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Rocky's excited. <laughs> I'm going to do a workshop and all you guys are going to be teaching these topics. <laughs> there we go. There we are, sex magic. <laughs> Mr. Clark, really? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Magical myths. Beautiful. All right, Deborah. You've got the two of wands this time. Divine orgasms. <laughs> I love the idea. All right. The two of wands. This, you know, you got a fork in the road, whether it be within or out. One path leads to greater growth and knowledge. The other path is easier and doesn't bring as much growth or knowledge. But, you know, you have the choice and there's no right or wrong answer. The universe, it's a topic people would attend. Yeah, that's true. That's true. There it is. Um, the universe knows what you went through. The spirit or spirit knows what you went through. And you don't have to take the path, the hard road anymore. But you can if you want to. The choice is yours. Yep, I looked like that when I said... <laughs> Where do I sign up for the class? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> there was a couple of good ones there. Oh no, my phone's gonna die. Hang on. Okay. Your next card is the Queen of Swords, naturally. Queen of Swords. Have you been feeling Queen of Swordish? Queen. I didn't say that right. <laughs> Queen of Swords ish. That's <laughs> what I meant to say. <laughs> Court card could represent you, somebody you know, or some part of you to call upon now. So maybe you're meant to if you are. This queen is very logical. Yep. Not not too emotional. She's got good ideas. She's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And she'll cut you. you gotta be careful. Or she, she could get cut as well, like when she steps on crystals. And cuts her foot. Gippers, there's, there's my sword. Yeah. Wait a minute. Which sex? Which sex smells? <laughs> Is she blended it all together? I love it. Yep. Yes, this is Deborah's. Yep. Did anybody else pay for a reading? Did I miss someone? 
Yes, yeah, Deborah's. <laughs> Oh, it's time to party with the girls. Yeah, not right now, though. you are got to wait till your foot heals now. It's about, you know, celebrating with people who you love, your girlfriends, your daughters, um, and all your cups being over full or flowing, floweth over. But it's about celebrating all that you are, all that you have achieved and and being loved and being able to love. Mm -hmm. I really think that's you and your girls. Yeah. It's about time you get some new cards in here. Ooh. Know what those core beliefs are. Know if they still serve you or not and the ones that do you might have to uh you might be challenged here soon it might be you challenging you yeah but if you stand tall in your truth you know that your core beliefs are your truth and they're still serving you then stand up and fight for what you believe in yeah can't go wrong I feel like I don't think it's outside of you, though. If that makes any sense. I don't know. Oh, we got the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords. Is there something that you're not wanting to face or in denial about? Or thinking that a, a way of thinking that no longer serves you? And you know it. <laughs> and you know it, but you think it anyway. I think I do that. You know, you're not trapped. You can change. Spirit was arguing around me today. Oh, okay. Maybe that was it. Yeah. Hmm. I have a feeling like this is funny. This is um, something that maybe an old belief that the family has made kind of a joke about nowadays. You know what I mean? Like, I got all sorts of those. Chaos energy. Nice. That's, a, that's, that's one of my favorite subjects, actually. I don't talk about very often. I wrote a paper on energy today. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, Deborah? Does that make any sense to you? Like some, you know, like I, I giggle at my mom because she believed gum stayed in your stomach for seven years. You know, it's kind of like a big joke. Man, you've got swords going on. Talk about chaos energy. All right. You're transitioning into the next phase of life or the next, yeah, little phase. But uh, there's something that's ended and it's time that you, that you admit it. <laughs> that's what this could be about, actually. <laughs> something has come to an end and it's time to let it go. No, I just like to sit with swords around me okay keep them wait and keep them out <laughs> i don't mind that card at all right i love all the cards i even love this one because this one is like yeah good you know the other day i got this card for my card of the day uh, like a week ago no it was like three weeks ago maybe but it was the same day that that happened with lb or the day after. It was very fitting. Mm -hmm. So there may be something, some way of thinking or what somebody else thought. You could just throw it away. It's done. Done. Yep. No need to 
get the last word in. You already know that. Oh, look. And you'll gain a new perspective. I think that happened today. Am I right or am I wrong? Strength in chaos. You just want to pull my heartstrings all day long. I wish I could spell. Mm hmm. No, oh, I already read that one. Yep, the eye of the storm is the strength in chaos, isn't it? So it's time to release and review and uh, surrender. Yep, and gain a new perspective. I love this card. I used to hate that word surrender. Never surrender. But now I love that word. It happened yesterday for you? Started yesterday. Okay. Are you asking Joy or me? Because I don't know. I just had that feeling. <laughs> I was just asking if I was right. <laughs> Wolf Moon. I will watch over you. You get this one. You've gotten this one. I think twice. What's that? $40. $40, I heard a male voice say storm. 2112, you sent that. 2112. What did I tell you about those two and twos? Oh, me? Okay, I don't know if anything happened today. I was just asking or telling her that I felt like maybe it had happened today. Yeah, I don't know. So I will watch over you. This is about healing. It's about having you know the pack the pack watch over you while you heal yep and being safe okay 40 was the timestamp okay and you sent it at 2112 i like that deck too yeah me too it's deborah's favorite deck as well been through the storm and made it through. Yeah, my whole self. Yep. I thought you were going to say my whole life. I heard a male voice. <laughs> so did Amy. <laughs> I didn't hear nothing. <laughs> you heard it here? What did he say? Well, besides chaos. I'm so mad. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, so that you heard the word storm also. Okay. I am a storm. I am chaos. That's cool. I'll have to listen back since you gave me the timestamp. <laughs> I'll be able to do that. <laughs> I was telling I was telling uh, Kez about when I look out my window at night. <laughs> Who did? Who else did I tell that to yesterday or the day before? Whoa, they're back. I saged and everything before, before, but I called in a bunch of people before I started. I'm hearing my ancestors all around me now. Oh, that's awesome.
then I got a protection card. Oh, yeah. Deborah is protected. <laughs> Very protected. I am too. We just found that out. Oh, no, we knew that, but we just kind of found out a little bit more about that subject. I have a ringing in your ear recently. Yeah, that's your angels. Your angels trying to tell you something. Yeah, that said storm. A higher God that said storm. Mm -hmm. You know what else helps with that ringing in your ear, believe it or not? Um, asking for some other sort of sign. A feather, um, uh, anything, a penguin, you know, whatever it is. That, yeah, you know, it doesn't have to be a penguin, but... <laughs> um, And they should, they should give it to you. Or you could do a guided meditation to meet your guardian angel. See if that works. Well, that's awesome. Take it. Take it. If it's resonating, it's yours too. Yeah. That's, I, I think I said that in my intro. Ooh. If the cards resonate with you, then we're meant for you as well. Yeah. You may want to tell Deborah thank you for paying for your reading. <laughs> she got a two for one. Did <laughs> they not come in and pet you? That's because I'm live, sweetie. I'm sorry, Scrappy. I'm so sorry. Mm. You did get some new cards, though. There were some different ones, some different wands ones. But, yep, you still had all them swords. But that's, that's who you are. You're a genius. Mm -hmm. Genius, I tell you. Genius. Did anybody else pay for a reading? I'm sorry, I didn't. I don't think I looked for an answer on that one. I know. We talk about that. Me and Holly especially talk about that all the time. Oh, she's squeaking again. <laughs> it's been even louder lately, yeah. Time and meditation, yeah. Yeah. I actually go and meet with mine. You know, she's a she, she's amazing. I call her Jessica, but that's not her real name. But that's what she said to call her. So. <laughs> but she's got one huge white wing and one black wing. She's balanced, just like me. Yeah, she's amazing. I mostly go just for a hug. I meditated for like two, two and a half hours today. It was amazing. You know what? You got to make the time. You got to, you got to decide that you're worth it. And, uh, you know, even 10 minutes. I did a, a really good uh, 10 minute meditation for stress. You know, or it's actually only six minutes. If you can't, if you can't find six minutes, well, it's not a meeting your angel guide or 
meditation though. But it is a de-stress one. It's really good. I used to say that all the time. And I still say that. I don't have the time. I don't have the time. I don't have the time. And then once I realize I'm saying that, then I, then I make myself make the time. It stops with meditation if you go into it. Well, sh she still screeches in my ear. I don't know. We talk all the time. I don't know if it stops. I think maybe for some, but not everybody. <laughs> I'm mad now. <laughs> Who's lucky? Take five minutes before you sleep. Yeah. Yep. And you know, you can also ask them to meet you in your dreams. And I learned something new today. <laughs> ask to remember your dreams. <laughs> Lord knows I need to meditate. Or no, and de-stress. Well, I'll send that to you then. Yep, I'll send it to you in Messenger. I am learning that there are many different ways to meditate. Oh my goodness, that's something I preach. I get so adamant about it because, yeah, because lots of people for a lot of years have been telling people there's only one way to meditate. And that is not true. There are so many ways to meditate. Mowing the lawn. Um, I have a friend, yeah, that listens. I have more than one that listens to heavy metal music and that's what relaxes them enough to meditate, believe it or not. Everybody's path is different. In fact, that's how many types of meditation there are because everybody's different, yeah. I mean, my ears ring all the time. Oh, okay, <laughs> but I know, but I know now have to stop and go into meditation. Okay, I get it. Yeah. I was going to say, I was about to be mad. <laughs> I wanted my, I wanted my to stop, man. <laughs> I sit and don't know I'm grounding still. I'm grounded and it's the best feeling in the world. It is. Yeah. You're welcome. So when you start hearing that screech, is what Amy was saying, or that ringing, you know to take a minute and just listen. And you know, the more you meditate, the quicker you'll be able to get into that theta state or that, um, what's the one after alpha, beta, alpha, beta. <laughs> you'll be able to get into that, you know, meditative state real quick. You won't have to lay down or sit down or, you know what I mean? Balancing a line. Everything is balancing. Mm -hmm. Woo -hoo, there she is. I got my three new decks. Awesome. Awesome, Mystical. You are lucky to meditate for two. I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what you were saying, that too. It's a. You, they want you to raise your vibration to their level gamma. Mm -hmm. I was, I was buzzing. I had my crystals around me. I had my crystal skull at my head. I had these on. Well, this was actually on my chest. I had my heart on my forehead and my selenite at my feet. And I was like, I could tell when I had a thought that I had to put on a cloud to go away. And um, because I would stop vibrating and it pulled me back. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yeah. What are you making for dinner? Yeah, I need to, I kind of slack in the wintertime. Which is weird because I'm inside all the time. That's what I should meditate the most. But I love being outside and meditating. That's what I'm looking forward to. It's still too chilly, though. 
for about the last month I have had this ringing. It is literally nonstop. That's yeah. A lot of people have. It's the energy. Your your vibration is rising. The Earth's vibration is rising, and uh, we're able to connect better, even though we don't know it or know how or realize it. That's why our stomachs are upset. We're getting headaches, heartburn. We got and we're tired. Yeah. That ringing happened to me when I was growing up. And you're right. Learning meditation and the ring. You'll the hear when it's for. I mean, I did not read that very well. But I know what she said. Mac and cheese from a can. LOL. I I just had to reheat it. Oh, okay. From a can. I didn't even know they had mac and cheese in a can. You mean like Chef Boyardee? Hearing you talk about it. Oh, Amy. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. I give it to you. All of the above doesn't help with high fives. That's right. From the <laughs> gotta keep a cool washcloth with you at all times. <laughs> okay, yes, Chef Hardy. Then I did know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I used to keep like a, a little bowl of water and a washcloth next to my bed. That shit was horrible. You're welcome, Amy. Mm -hmm. I found some really, really nice frequencies today, too. 0 0.5 hertz. It's for real, man. I, I, for, I went years with a washcloth around my neck. <laughs> or a, a, a hand towel, actually. <laughs> yep. It's just no joke. And now I get hot flashes like when the archangels come in. But that's about it. So I started, I did, you know, I, I mentioned that workshop. I did start putting together a, um, uh, a retreat. Not a retreat. Not a workshop either. There's one more word for it. I have been noticing I get super hot around 3 a.m. So I take off covers. And then you freeze. Yeah. You're probably feeling a lot of spirits at that time. I would. That sounds about right. Are you going through menopause too? Because it could be intensified by spirits, maybe. I don't know. Anything is possible. Let's pull some moonology cards, shall we, for the new moon? My worst is around 6 p.m. Mine was in the evening too. If I remember correctly, that's always a, a feat. 
I give my pets affection, sit by the brook in the park of your house, listen to playlist, make collages. I thought, it, I thought I wasn't meditating. Oh yeah, you're meditating until I found out those are forms of, med yeah, washing the dishes can be a form of a meditation. I, I meditate best when I'm like power walking, fast walking. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel like. They're like right there with me and talking in my ear. It's really weird. Yep, you certainly are. Hashtag new moon. That's right. Around that time, I am seeing... The trippy stuff, yeah, with your eyes. And I just get so hot, yeah. 3 a.m. popular time. Spirits to come around. Yeah, it is, yeah. Like, a lot of them, you know what I mean? All sorts of different kinds. Or different types, whatever. Has anyone heard of being a guardian of the souls to heaven in the new souls to earth? Not enough to mention, but yeah. The witching hour, yeah. New moon in Taurus. Everyone, you are going to be hungrier than usual. Just the moon playing its role. You know, yeah. <laughs> last time that happened, I was like, man, I have been eating constantly and I just can't get full. And I think it was Amy. I'm pretty sure it was Amy. It was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> she told me all about it. I was like, wow. <laughs> then not that. What? I've seen that in a spirit in the spiritual realm. They shadow current guardians. I knew you were gonna speak up, Deborah. Knew it. That's why they called me a psychic. I am a reaper helping people transition. That is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Yep. That's why we get along. I, that used to be my purpose, the gatekeeper stuff. Yeah. Well, I got something. I got something to say, but I don't know if I know enough about it to say it. But, but never does. <laughs> <laughs> um, in Egypt, um, the Egyptians weren't they? Maybe I'm wrong. See, I'm not gonna say nothing because I'm not sure if I if I'm getting it correct. I'll have to I have to peek at my notes to see him. Okay, Patricia. Keepers. Nope, I'm thinking about the watchers. Full, full go ahead. What's a full go? Hold on a minute, I gotta catch up. You deal with a lot of death? I have too, yeah. Yep. Me too. For many, many years, yeah. From the time I was three years old. The gatekeepers at all realms, yeah. Yes, okay. I think I'm getting two, two of my stories mixed up, to be honest.
The watchers were the angels, weren't they? A win-win outcome, outcome, not outcast, not forecast. A win-win outcome is forecast. <laughs> it's in our forecast. Full moon in Libra. And we're looking for a new moon. Let's see. This is the one. This is the one right here. Oh, I guess there's two. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. I told you this was it. A new romantic. Oh, you said it wrong. <laughs> I say everything wrong. <laughs> new romantic cycle begins new moon in libra but two of them jumped out so we've got you and your loved ones are safe new moon in cancer you and your loved ones are safe that's nice no i am a libra moon okay well this one's for you a new romantic cycle is beginning. Could, well, no, never mind. <laughs> Man, do I almost stick my foot in my mouth so much. Your cancer rising. Ah, that's why we get along too. I love, I love me some cancers. Cancers and Leos. And I love Scorpio women. They're crazy. That's why I love them. They're just crazy. But they're loyal. It's about us. Mm -hmm. I was going to say romance doesn't necessarily mean, you know, what we think it does. Your commit, your commitment is being tested. We got for the first quarter moon. You're a Virgo, okay. My my uh, daughter-in-law is. I was gonna say was because she's not my daughter-in-law anymore, but she's still my daughter-in-law. She's a Virgo. No. No, she's a Libra. We do get along really great, yeah. I was gonna pull out this deck tonight. I don't know if I don't know if I've ever even put this one on on film. This deck here. It, it looks like this. Whoa. Hold on. I'm going to drop them all. This is what they look like. They're really cool. There's a funny story behind these cards. <laughs> oh, you're a cancer. Yep. I'm a Pisces. I'm everything. Was I telling Stacy or not Stacy? Uh, Sarah, I was like, I'm balanced. I'm yin and yang. I am everything but yet nothing. I am everywhere but nowhere. <laughs> I was going on and on and on. I was like, I'm balanced. They are really pretty. I like them. It this deck randomly came to me in the mail. I didn't know who sent it to me. Um. I didn't know at that time anybody even had my address. That was before anybody had my address. Yeah. Thank you. Is there a liar in my midst? We'll see. And uh, I, I didn't want anything to do with it. I wouldn't touch it. <laughs> I was like, oh, ah, 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 no, no, no. 
you don't just get tarot cards from random strangers. You know what I mean? I was like, uh uh, I, I wouldn't touch it. <laughs> and then I found out who sent it to me. <laughs> and I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> that thing was sitting in a box of uh, crystals, like <laughs> for the longest time. Related to Sarah in Salem. Oh, okay. I got Oracle of Shadows and Light. Really? Ooh, Sham. Oh, I got the mystical. I got mystical. Sh uh, this mystical sh shaman. God, I can't talk tonight. Oracle. <laughs> nice. And mystical and mystical wisdom. Oh, they're small, so they fit in your hands. Nice. Stranger danger. <laughs> I do that all the time. I love that. Bethany taught me that. You know that? <laughs> My daughter taught me that. Stranger danger. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I love it. Ouch. Which one childs are good? Back my phone died. Oh, I'm sorry your phone died. I'm glad you're back though. I need a new deck of tarot cards. Last ones on. Uh, it's what? Last ones on a flower and a, a, a. Is that a four leaf clover? All right, let's see. Let's see if the seven of swords is in your in your midst. Nope. You've got the page, the page of wands. Yep, the fire prince. So it's not really the page, but it kind of is. You know that I only owned one deck up until probably two years ago, I think now. Until I finally got an Oracle deck. Somebody gifted me the Angels of Abundance. And uh, before that, I refused to use Oracle cards. Absolutely refused. I was so stubborn on that one. But I'm so happy I did. Yep. They really add to a tarot reading. I need to get a deck or two so I can learn them better. Yeah, it, they help. Or it helps to have a deck if you, yeah, while you're learning. The Fire Prince is amazing. Tell us about him, Sarah. They have Vikings car. I bet they have, they have everything. I didn't know that. I'm going to look into that. I'm a Viking. Proud. I own a deck, only one. Yeah, and working on two and three and four. <laughs> Fire Prince. So this could represent you, somebody you know, or some part of you to call upon now. It's a younger person who is in school or still learning, or an older person who is young at heart. Big fat kid. Very passionate. Very motivated. Very fiery. Loves to learn, of course. 
you may be getting a message. Somebody may be getting a message about something that they're very passionate about. Or maybe you should reach out to somebody you used to be passionate for. Or vice versa. You can read a regular playing card. Yeah, I can I can read regular playing cards, yeah. I got it from my favorite crystal shop online. Awesome. What's what's that crystal shop? Some from my friend who is sending me two decks. Okay. And one so I think from the other friend. And maybe five from another <laughs> debating on the, the fifth one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I ain't got no room to talk. Now we got the six of wands. Six of fire. Dreamer of apothecary, or I said of apothecary. Nice. You'll have to send me some pictures of those cards in Messenger. Sixes are about balance. But getting too many things at once. What does hmm mean, Stacy? I'm feeling low when I get my crystals, books, and rings. Yeah, I do. I came back now. Bethany came back now. I didn't know you were left. I will. They are on the wait. Okay. I usually post in my group what I get. Okay. Now I know why. making sense now. I got really overwhelmed there for a minute. Oh, passion. Yeah, fire is passion. Animalistic tendencies, or I mean desires, <laughs> tendencies. <laughs> that too. <laughs> I'm not shuffling these good enough because they're too big for my hands. Yeah, that's because you are fire. You know what fire and water make? Steam. You know what water and earth make? Mud. Air and water. Waves. I do. I need a baby deck. I do have some. I have the Rider weight ones that are my size. <laughs> and regular playing cards, too. Baby deck. Uh, baby hands. I have baby hands. <laughs> so 
One of the many reasons. Your sign is what? Uh, that looks like a green dot to me. You're a green dot sign? Green dot? <laughs> that's, a, that's a credit card. <laughs> or, a, or a go sign. You know, one time I stopped at the stop sign and I was just sitting there and Bethany goes, what are you doing, mom? I'm waiting for the light to turn green. <laughs> it was a stop sign. <laughs> that green dot reminded me of that. So much more. Earth, Earth. Okay. <laughs> you know what mud is good for? It's good for your skin. It's good for your complexion. It's good to de-stress. It's not good to let dry in your hair, though. I did that before. What did you do before, Myrtle? Fire with air rising. Send help. <laughs> I agree. Be honest, Mom. It was more than once. <laughs> I might have been. <laughs> I only remember once. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, you that's what you said. I did that once. I, I'm I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> Waiting for that. Okay, I'm not the only one then. That's good. <laughs> Thank you, Myrtle. <laughs> I'm not earthy. Pretty darn allergic to everything she grows or we use to make things grow besides water. <laughs> That's so funny. What? When did we get on stingers and bees? Welcome back, Patricia. Send a smoke signal or an SOS. <laughs> or vibes, there you go. <laughs> she gets those too. We don't even know if you're live. <laughs> I see dead people. <laughs> Sarah, we're trying to determine if, if Sarah's alive or dead. You know, because I couldn't tell. I talk to dead people all the time. I don't know. There. That was a nice shuffle. <laughs> Right? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> you could be. We all could be. Who knows? Who knows anymore? That would be me. I would be the ghost trying to get the real people out of my house thinking that. These damn motherfuckers. No, actually, I wouldn't, because I've lived with a lot of ghosts. Earth can relate to health. Yes, it does. Yep. Coins related to health. Health is wealth. Oh, oh I never thought of it like that. Send help my way, right? You're the one that should be setting up the smoke signals. <laughs> 
do not wake me up if I go. I want to rest. Yeah, I know. You already told me. Everybody's giving me all these rules. I can't wake her up. I can't bring her back. I can't haunt, haunt my daughter when I die. You guys are bumming me out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That might be a sign. It might be sign three. What was weird? You're you're only on sign three? Because I thought just last night we covered probably six of them. she -ra. I have the power. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're talking about He-Man today. Did you get my last message on that? Sarah about, <laughs> about He-Man. I used to wake my kids up in the middle of the night. Well, not my kids, but Dustin. We'd wake up in the middle of the night and watch He-Man because it came on at like 1 a.m. You cut out and blew with and blew with and a sun in the left corner on my phone. Wow, that's interesting. Did I cut out for anybody else? Somebody's guides are coming in. My nose is itching. All right. Three of fire. What's up with all these fire cards? Mm -hmm. Choices. Action plan. Wait a minute, I'm falling behind. What does it mean when uh, the new moon is in your zodiac sign? Good question. Good question. Amy will answer that, I think. Here's two. Probably. Okay. <laughs> She's ghostly. She's so ghostly. <laughs> Mystical bitch. She's I'm going to skip over that one because it's too mystical. You see it too? What are we seeing? Miracles are coming if we all stay focused. Yes. Get ready for the new for new horizons. So it's the same as your son. Oh, okay. And what does that mean? I, I don't know what it means if the new moon's in our sun either. I don't know anything about it. Well, I know a little bit about Austra Australia. <laughs> I mean, astrology. <laughs> I'm on a roll tonight. Are you guys doing like a mediumship reading or what? <laughs> That's what you saw? Okay. Here we go. The seven of water. The seven of cups. This is about choices, too. Lots of choices coming up. Lots of decisions. I love you, too, Amy. <laughs> I love you, too, Sarah. <laughs> and now, now it feels like my other ear is being pinched. He switched ears on me tonight. We were talking about the Salem. Okay. Okay. I wasn't sure. Okay, red hair, blue eyes. Yeah, I love it. 
That runs in my family too. Not me though. Well, maybe. Well, yeah, this, yeah, it does. I got green eyes with red specks. Gold, kind of goldish green eyes. Your Salem ancestors. You will mirror all aspects of yourself. Oh, okay. But I do that anyway. The good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful. I was going to say something really funny, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not going to now. <laughs> I decided that with the new moon. Okay. Me? New eclipse moon, wow. So lots and lots of decisions, lots of options out there. I think, I think that's been like the decisions and the choices and the the intense of the amount of them maybe has been throughout 2020 and 2021 i'm going to go having connection issues okay i'm about to get off anyway you too stacy i love you Seriously, something's finishing my other ear. I've got some really weird spirits in here tonight. Thanks, Sarah's dad. Connection issue. <laughs> he said it's time to get out there. That silly live. <laughs> Does anyone know not to charge your crystals during an eclipse? Um, you mean like put them outside like you would the full moon? And somebody told you you're not supposed to? Is that what you're saying? Ooh, look at this judgment card, Amy. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you my theory on this full moon, blue moon, no moon energy and crystals. All right. So my theory is because I sit in this basement apartment or this basement bedroom, whatever it is, and that moon energy is intense. And I'm inside, okay? When I do my healing, energy doesn't have any kind of walls or bounds. Nothing stops it. It can go through walls. It can go through titanium. It can go through earth. It can go through anything. Energy is unstoppable. So why do I have to drag every crystal I own that it takes me at least a half an hour outside to the full moon? Because that energy is coming right through that roof. There ain't nothing stopping it. I don't believe it makes it any stronger if you put it in the light. I don't. No. I think that that's just extra work for me to do. And I, I, I yeah. And maybe I'm just lazy. You know, I could be too. But energy has no bones. 
I don't think it matters personally. That's just my personal flexible theory. But everybody has their own beliefs. And I think that that is what makes it so stronger, so much stronger. Intention, belief, emotion. I think that's what would make that energy for the crystals stronger or not good if you do it on a eclipse. You know what I mean? Magical mirths. Myths. Mirths. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Also, don't start a new relationship on an eclipse. Really? I think that, again, has to be, it has to depend on how mature people are. <laughs> or how well they communicate. I don't know. I'm sure there's lots of factors. It can possible attract negative energy. But the crystals come from the earth. Before there was buildings, there was nothing but crystals and, and earth everywhere. And there was new moon and eclipses all the time. How come they're not dead now? Or, you know, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's, that doesn't sound right to me. It doesn't make sense to me. Attract negative energy. I don't believe they can. They have a certain frequency that they hold. So do we, though. It goes up and down. But, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't do the, the negative, positive, good, bad thing. Only if you want to create chaos. <laughs> All right, here we go. And confusion. And then rinse and change, change or charge by the sun for 30 minutes. I've never, well, I can't say that. I can't say that. I've known, I've known crystals that had souls in them that were not very happy campers. Yeah, to put it lightly. The judgment that I held up? Yeah. That's what I thought you were talking about. I've got lots of theories on that stuff. Magical myths start. Start at the source. Pagans followed the moon. Yeah. I just read that, honey. Just learning stuff. Yeah, I know. I'm not. I'm. I'm just saying. That's a theory. I don't. You know. It all. I think it all boils down to what resonates with you. You know. When you're learning things, if it doesn't resonate, it's not your truth. You know what I mean? It's not in your soul to believe that. If it does, then it is. And that's okay. I don't think there's any right or wrong. You know what I mean? Because everybody's beliefs are their own. Everybody's unique. And nobody's right or wrong. Their truth is their truth. My truth is my truth. You know what I mean? It's, nobody sees or has the same experience you know what i mean like if we we both see a, a red rose or a, let's see this red cup we'll use this i see a red cup or coffee whatever you know but you might see a, a maroon or a dark red maybe even a brown cup you know what i mean we all see things in our own unique way and it's that we're both right you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I've seen spirit having a crystal. Yeah. Before. Before you took the picture. The picture. Oh, that's cool. Here is the thing about the moon. She's the moon expert. See. It's newer than the earth. Okay, here's the thing about the moon. It's newer than the earth. 
So the earth was formed before the moon was. That's what you're saying. So, but <laughs> it was in Cosmo magazine. Oh, really? Wow. There are texts about the moon arriving. Yeah. I clean and charge my crystals with smudging. Yeah. There's lots of ways to do that. It's perfectly round and alleged it's hollow like a bell. Yeah. Allegedly. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. I saw her never did family tree. Mm. You're talking the mystical again. Yeah. I love the moon. <laughs> I have to ask. I just get really, you know, about the, the crystals under the full moon thing because I'm, I'm partially because I'm lazy and partially it's a lot of work. I got a lot of crystals and, you know, I got a lot of, like, I have dream catchers that have crystals in them, which those could stay in the window, you know, maybe, no, because I'm not faced the right way, but I have a lot of, like, I have a wind chime that's made out of, uh, I want to say roto, roto, roto right. I can't say it. Maybe I can find it. My crystal books right here. The dust on the moon is to be said that it comes from another galaxy. Yeah. You watch ancient aliens, Amy. If if nobody watches Ancient Aliens, I suggest you watch Ancient Aliens. It's my favorite show in the whole world. Well, anyway, my point was that I have a lot of crystals. Oh, nope, that ain't it. And it takes me at least a half an hour to get them all out and and layered, you know, because I was taught. When I was being guided, I was taught they all have to be level. So you have to put them on like a baking pan. You know, they have to all be flat so that they can all show. I mean, it was just this elaborate thing. And I think it was just too much for me. <laughs> it was just too much work. <laughs> when, when the energy would come through anyway, you know what I mean? That's just my weird logic <laughs> they collected dust from the moon it was magical yeah i believe that it's so cool to me my daughters my daughter is in to crystal too yeah i have been since 2000 around the time my mom died actually the same year my mom died so um 2005 i was into you know i started learning learning about them in 2005 about healing energy with crystals yeah you don't what You don't know where you got that information? Well, you're psychic, aren't you? Ancient Aliens is a great show. Thank you, Mystical. Yes, it is. I love that show. I used to, I have, it still goes off. My alarm. Friday's Ancient Aliens Marathon Day. I used to not go live. I wouldn't do anything on Friday. That was my day that I would sit in bed and watch Ancient Aliens. But I don't do that anymore either. I've been really working on my career, though. <laughs> 
Yeah, you have a lot of crystals. It grows planets quicker. Interesting. I didn't, I didn't know that. I have these weird marks that came on my arm. I call them my alien abduction marks. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I've always I have RH negative blood, right? And and on ancient aliens, they say that they've never met a person that has H and R negative blood that hasn't been abducted, right? So I'm like, well, they must be really using their their amnesia medicine on me really good, because I don't remember nothing. <laughs> what if the full moon wait so what if the full moon more moon dust falls to earth oh would we would it grow would we that would be interesting did you guys hear about the study they did with spiders out in space plants we would have mutant plants. Would they grow faster? Would they still be the same nutrients? My other half watched Ancient Aliens and I would watch it with him to learn. Yeah, they have, they have some interesting facts. Now, I don't believe everything, you know, but I don't. You are AB. That's for two, right? It would fall into the water, right? Yeah. Yeah, it would fall everywhere. You're AB too? AB. AB. They grow faster, yeah. But would they be the same? Would they still have, like, would, you know, tomatoes still be have whatever vitamins they have in them you know what i mean would that be the only thing that would happen why make moon water oh yeah <laughs> that's a good question <laughs> i don't make moon water i made a moon a moon gatorade one time when i did the full moon ceremony with amy or I mean, Amanda, <laughs> I keep doing that to you. That's somebody, I keep calling her everybody else's name. And then today I call Amanda Amy. That's somebody in a jar closed. <laughs> One of those is universal blood type. I'm not. I know I almost killed my kids and they almost killed me. My my blood thinks that if it's not an RH negative factor, the rhesus factor, it'll it'll kill my kids. Yeah. I've lost two because of it. <laughs> it thinks it's a foreign body or a you know. You think AB positive? Okay. Okay, moon water doesn't taste different to me. It doesn't taste different to me either. It's just supposed to be like an energetic water, right? It's supposed to give you energy. I think it's the placebo effect. Okay, so you can give it, but you can't take it? <laughs> like most men, I don't know. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I'm sorry. That was a little judgmental. <laughs> to add power to a spell, if needed, speed things up, so to say. Okay.
universal blood is O negative. Okay. I didn't know that. I use I use good old coffee to speed it up, right? Yeah. <laughs> I drink too much coffee now. It doesn't speed me up. I can go to sleep after drinking a, a pot or two of coffee. <laughs> In the olden days, mamas and babies died when they didn't have a medicine. Rogan. Yeah. Is that what they use for the RH negative mamas? I know I 2222, there it is. Me and those twos. I call it a day water. <laughs> I only work by the full moon when it comes to charging my candles and crystals and add them to moon water if it storms I suggest collecting that water too and making a beach theme it is amazing to watch burn wow I'm confused all the time, Patricia. It's okay. It's, we're, <laughs> thanks for joining me. <laughs> yeah, I did. Well, I did. Yeah. Um, one, one of my kids were, well, about five months along and, and uh, I didn't know I was pregnant, believe it or not. <clears throat> but she, yeah, died in my tummy. I knew, but I I was in denial, and I was going through a bunch of stuff, and yeah. I did with Bethany. I did with all three right away, like Bethany, Dustin, and Shane. But still, even with that medicine, Shane and Bethany almost killed me, and I almost killed them. Yeah, it was not, Bethany came two and a half months early because my pregnancy wasn't going, well, I was supposed to be on bed rest and Lance lost his job, so I had to go to work and that didn't last but a month if that. Well, what? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That was hard. That was a hard one, but it's okay. It wasn't half as hard as uh, Shane, you know, when I was going through that. But yeah, even uh, that's why I think Dustin, because he was my only healthy pregnancy. Now, with all my children, I lost weight. I, I don't know why. The minute I got pregnant, I lost weight. And like with Dusty, I lost 20 pounds. And then throughout the pregnancy, I gained 20 pounds, which wasn't a lot. But it was more than like with Shane and Bethany, I lost. I kept losing. I was just getting thinner and sicker and thinner. Um they were they were trying to kill me I remember they, I know. but um it wasn't good i lost you lost with Zariah. but dustin you know i actually showed um it was he went full term he was eight six i mean he was big 
He was my only healthy pregnancy, so I think he has Rh negative blood too. Yeah. You gained. Oh, you lost. Okay, weight was Soraya and gain was Savannah. <laughs> Every time I got pregnant, I was on birth control, trying not to get pregnant. I'm ass backwards to the T. Technically, I didn't with Dusty because I had lost 20 and then gained 20, but kind of I did, you know. At least I wasn't sick with Dusty at all. I lost with my first all the sickness for my match. Bethany was like that. I couldn't eat nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Wow. I weighed probably 140 or 50, maybe even 160. And when I had Shane, I was 90 pounds. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't let me leave the hospital. My mom signed some paper saying she would take care of me. I was underage too, though. Yeah, I was young. But, um... I don't know what I weighed and what with Bethany, but I weighed 98 and weighed 114 before you had a wall. You are tiny. Yeah, I think I was like three years old when I was, and besides after I had shaved. <laughs> it was almost eight pounds through and healthy, thank God. It's awesome. Yeah, Shane, Shane and Bethany weren't very healthy when they were born. Um, Dustin was. <laughs> he still is. He's always been the one that doesn't get sick very much. Yeah, he's got that good immune system. Both Bethany and Shane don't. I wish. Never mind. <laughs> I shouldn't say things like that. Wish they would listen to me. <laughs> I wish they would know, know that they can strengthen their immune system. <laughs> if Amy told them or told Bethany that they, she'd believe it. Yep. Or any one of you. You know, kids, they don't believe their mom. Although I did send her that that meditation and it actually helped her. Um, like she had called me after she had a panic attack and I sent it to her and she said it really helped, which is really good. I was really happy to hear that. My, what? My youngest? Oh. I weighed 98 and weighed 120 before you had them. I, I read that one already, didn't I? I think so, yeah. I think I was probably with Bethany. I was, when she was born, I was probably around 120. I, I was above one, you know, for sure. But my normal is about one. 50, 140, 50, 60, somewhere around there. I'm about 280 now. Sig break, yeah. <laughs> For sure. You have three boys? I have two boys and one girl. They were so quiet. I forgot she was even here. We should close up shop. It's 1031. Yeah, I still got work to do, of course. And this guy's bothering me. That's why I got to get him to go away. Can't believe he's not pinching the right ear. Maybe it's a different one. That'd be my luck, wouldn't it?
I think that's those are intense from my head though too. Those crystals. I have three girls. One of them is in heaven. Yeah. She's an angel. I was teeny tiny. You still are. Yeah. <laughs> That's what was funny. That one. <laughs> Did he look at my my armpit boob? <laughs> that was so funny. I was dying. I almost wet myself. That was so funny. My armpit boob. <laughs> I sent I sent you the biggest rose quartz sphere picture. It's over. Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? Wowza. Mystical, you, you and Patricia should talk, yeah. That was so funny. Oh my gosh. That was hilarious. I was like in tears because of a sad one and, and laughing because of that one. Oh man, I was a mess. It was funny. That's TikTok for you. Yeah. <laughs> there was another one I watched this morning or whenever it was last night. I see. I can't even remember again. Um, and I take Amy and it and and Bethany. The guy said, "I can't remember how he worded it." Amy knows something about our women's eggs are released when they are four months old in the womb. And I'm going to say it wrong and mess it all up. I have a feeling I pick the good ones to do it. Yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I scroll enough or, or stay there long enough. Of course, that's with anywhere. I'm usually um, posting and getting it posted and all set up and then I'm gone. And then I'm back with some more and then I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> That, that'll be a topic for another day. Yep. The woman's eggs. Because I can't remember how exactly it goes. Even though I know it in my head, I can't repeat it. <laughs> That's what most shit I know. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to close up shop. I love you. Thank you for an amazing conversation. I'm going to have to title this one, Let's Talk About It and and Free and Paid Readings. <laughs> we kind of mashed them up, huh? Good night. You have a good night. I love you guys. And we'll see you Wednesday. I love you too. I'll be posting whichever topic I pick. I got them all written down. All right. <laughs>